this is a place uh, that exists in Medellin, a house of silence. This is where the murderer meets the sister of his victim, the wife, the children. This is where they work side by side, not knowing who the other is. Not allowed to speak, we're told they must speak with their hands. They must make something out of clay. A deaf-mute boy is the first to greet us, fatherless at seven. He places his sculpture in our hands. A man and a woman in a tight embrace, their spines cut deep as rivers in their perfect, passionate backs. Other children create clay figures who are born chopped up, legs and arms, torsos and even heads lined up side by side. The one I ask about is a pre-Columbian head with a cradle on top and a baby inside, intact. I'm convinced it was made by an artist, a woman, but no, I'm told it was a boy of nine, dead already, shot dead, and no one to claim his work. Take it, they say, take it. Nobody wants it. <laughs>